Good morning, guys. So, today on uh, the weather in Holland, it's actually really sunny and colder than when it's not sunny. But that's not a mission here. We're going to Amsterdam today to check out an event which has one love, the Kubalo, and other people you know on there and then take a bit of a walk through Amsterdam check out the city we have sunshine yes. and according to the weather it's going to be sunny the whole day so I'll show you a bit of the journey going to Amsterdam That's why this police. and uh, <laughs> we'll share the rest of our experience as usual on a Sunday with you okay Say hello, Elaine. Hi. All right. See you. See you. This is Utrecht Central. And it's a Sunday for some reason. Very quiet. So before you travel, you scan your card. Then it opens for you. Then you walk into the station and find where your train will be. So I'll let you know how it looks like in the train and when we arrive in Amsterdam, okay? Amsterdam, so I'm taking uh, bits and pieces of shots and probably put it together in a film with music. A lot of there's going to be a lot of slow mo. There's going to be a lot of uh, landscape shots and monumental buildings as well. So that's what I'm doing with the big gun today. So there's going to be the vlog where I have a story to share with you guys about how I lost my wallet and still found it. I'll tell you about that. But yeah, now we're walking with a big gun. So, I came here with, uh, I don't know my background. Yeah, I came here wearing regular t-shirt as usual. But then, Elaine decided that we should go a little bit of vintage shopping. And I'm actually wearing my vintage clothes that I bought. So I got this jacket. Okay, I got this jacket and I got this uh, sweater that I'm wearing, which looks really good. It's a Tommy, show him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a Tommy, but that doesn't matter, really. Oh, it's a but, nice uh, color. Yeah, it's a nice color. It's a color I wouldn't normally wear. But the story that I want to tell you guys is one about how when we arrived, I really had to use the washroom. And then, guess what? Oh, I left. Yeah, okay. I left my. Uh, wallet in one of the stalls that I went into and I didn't even notice that I left my wallet until after about an hour when I was checking my pockets which where I, that's where I usually place it I place it in my back pocket and I was checking my back pocket and I was like wait a minute I actually do not have my wallet and for the first time, I actually did not really panic. I was really um, 
panicking inside. But I was not showing it outside because we're in public, we're at an event, and I didn't want Elaine to feel uh, all panicky with me as well. So I thought, you know what, let's retrace our steps. If it's pickpocketing, then I'm fucked. But if it's not, then I can retrace my steps and probably even find it. So I decided, okay, fine, let me check one of the stalls where I had to use the washroom. And when I went there, I had to tell one of the cleaners who was there that I'm looking, like I want to enter because I didn't even have a wallet to pay. You have to pay for the public uh, washroom in the station. And he, he, when I told him I left my wallet here, I'm sure like my wallet dropped. He was like, okay, okay, because he doesn't speak English. And he says, okay, let me show you. And then he showed me to a room and then I went in there and I saw this lady sitting down and the lady asked me, what's your name? And I was like, uh, Emmanuel, Emmanuel Bonsu. And I left my wallet. And then she immediately said, so you're And I'm like, uh, <laughs> yeah, me you And then she said, yeah, and she told me how she found it. And I don't know, I don't know. I just started thanking her and saying all sorts of like, you know, words of appreciation to her that she found this wallet for me and I didn't have any money in it then so I took the wallet I checked everything it was intact and she said she was actually gonna send it to a radio station which is connected to Ghana I've forgotten the name of it and then they would actually announce it that somebody left their wallet and this is the name in it and it's a Ghanaian person so I was like whoa this actually happens here so yeah, but that didn't get to happen, but I was really, really happy. Her name is Auntie B. So if you know any Auntie B in the Netherlands, in Amsterdam Central, please, when you see her, say a huge thank you from Mosaic Kwame. And I didn't have any money in the wallet at the time. So I went out to the ATM, got some money to go and thank her and she didn't take it. Auntie B doesn't want it because Auntie B has, you know, uh, sons like me and she thinks, well, if, I'm out here and I lost my wallet. She's my Ghanaian mother and she found it. And I don't need to pay anything. I don't need to thank her in any way. She's more than happy. So yes, Auntie B was my angel for today in this Amsterdam sunshine vloggy day. So yeah, quite happy, quite happy about that. I'm gonna continue filming with this big guy and I'll do a separate video of, you know, just a short, more cinematic you know view of Amsterdam and my experience today just with the sunshine so I'll catch you maybe at home or this is it if I you know it's nice the sun on your face is it yeah. any summary of today any last words um, today has been uh, I think it's a beautiful day lucky day Last day to lose my wallet, find it, spend time at the uh, Church of Climate, change, seeing one love, having a uh, good lunch with Elaine, and now summarizing everything right here. It's been a beautiful day. So, yeah, she's forcing me to sign out here. So, <laughs> we'll see you in the next vlog. Hopefully, where, where are we gonna be? Yeah, in the north. We're gonna explore the north as well, so we'll see you when we get there. Okay, that's enough. Aren't you gonna say Thank peace you. out? No, peace. I'll enjoy my tea. <laughs> <laughs>